In this video, I'm going to be talking about oral minoxidil. But before we get started, I just want to let you guys know that I'm in no way, shape, or form giving you guys medical advice. Definitely consult with your physician before trying oral minoxidil as it is a prescription drug. All right, now let's get started. All right, so I plan to make this video my actual journey. I got the prescription about two weeks ago. I just haven't been able to locate a pharmacy that carries minoxidil, but when I do, I'm gonna be creating a series here on YouTube showing you guys what my hair loss is like right now, which I'm gonna go ahead and uh, post a picture. That's what it looks like right now. Uh, and I'm gonna be giving you guys monthly updates on how it's going, side effects, if I have any, and all of that. Um, so stay tuned, I just gotta find the medication. But until then, I'm just gonna give you guys some information that I have and based on the research that I've done. This was a study I found where it took men classes 3 to class 5 and gave them 5 milligrams of oral minoxidil daily. They saw a significant increase in hair growth. And overall it was considered safe. Most men didn't have any serious side effects, just minor side effects like hypertrichosis and pedal edema. Now here PubMed researched 16 studies with a total of 622 participants and they found that Oral minoxidil was overall safe and effective. Now, let's hear from what doctors actually have to say and hear from Dr. Bazanga and Dr. Nadimi. My view today, uh, I have better results combining oral minoxidil and topical finasteride. Mm. Um, so, I've been prescribing more oral minoxidil for those who are afraid of sexual side effects. Uh, then oral minoxidil should be something that be tried. Mm -hmm. uh, anywhere between, for men, anywhere between 2.5 milligrams to 5 milligrams per day. Um, for female, we go for 1 milligram to 2 milligram, but we combine it with, um, with uh, spironolactone, that's an anti-androgen. The oral works better than the topical. I mean, it just makes sense that it would work better than the topical, but you know, it's certainly an option. And then with the oral minoxidil, um, I, I've, I've been prescribing it now at a low dose for a couple of years. Um, and it actually was a dermatologist in Australia who kind of revisited um, using uh, the oral minoxidil because it's a blood pressure lowering pill. And, you know, that's how Rogaine kind of came about. People noticed that they take this medication to lower their blood pressure and they had really nice results with their hair. So they created a topical version, called it Rogaine. It was like an uh, accidental discovery. And then um, Dr. Sinclair in Australia started looking at oral minoxidil at a really low dose and had some nice results and published on it. And then we kind of picked up on that um, just based off of his studies. And um, I've been prescribing it for a couple of years and I think it, you know, it's definitely, it's nice to have things to offer. I don't think there's a lot of non-surgical options that are um, very good, you know. I mean, that's something we can discuss, too. Yeah. Um, but it's especially, like, uh, for women with hair loss, too. A lot, you know, they're not really candidates for a hair transplant often. And yeah. they just want a little boost in density. And if you were to do a transplant on them, you'd cause all this injury, shock loss, and so, and then Rogaine, you know, it's FDA approved, it's been shown to work, but it just doesn't give results that a lot of people are looking for, or it just doesn't work for a lot of people. So yeah. this is an option, um, and it doesn't work all the time, that's for sure. I have people who I've had to go up on the dose, and, you know, and that doesn't even work sometimes, but when it does work, it seems to work really nicely for them. Okay, so what are the side effects of oral minoxidil? Well, at a higher dose, five milligrams and above, the side effects are actually quite serious. You can get low blood pressure, heart problems, um, fluid retention, edema, and obviously hirotism. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Hirotism, which is hair everywhere. Um, once you hit the lower dosage, based on the studies that I've seen, 2.5 and below, the Real serious side effects like low blood pressure and, and the heart issues like angina and stuff like that 
lower. Right, guys, well I hope you guys found this video informative and if you did, I would really appreciate it if you guys would go ahead and give me a like. And if you like the content that I put on this channel, I'd really appreciate it if you guys would go ahead and subscribe. And if you think anyone would benefit from this video, go ahead and share with them. Alright, till next time.